We, we've heard a bunch of garbage about the so-called Apple electric car. Now, for many years, people have said all this different stuff. They've said that apparently Apple is going to work with Tesla. Apparently, Apple is going to buy Tesla eventually. They decided not to. Then they decided to collaborate with Tesla. Then they decided not to. Now, all of this stuff is pretty much eh, irrelevant. Here's what Apple actually did. They lost a billion dollars every single year. They invested a billion dollars all to manufacture a car that would have been using all these parts, which are kind of hilarious. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. The long and short of this story, it's, it's absolutely fascinating. Now, the Apple car wasn't even an Apple car at all. We've actually just found out from former Apple employees or from leaked Apple employees that the so-called Apple car was actually a Volkswagen bus using Tesla batteries and an Xbox controller. Um, yeah, it was meant to be autonomous, right? So that's what Apple were working on, the technology to make this vehicle autonomous. Basically, Volkswagen were gonna make the car, um, Tesla were gonna supply the batteries, and Xbox was gonna supply the controllers for you to drive it with. Now, a report came out, right, within the last 24 hours, telling us the general, the usual story. Automotive News says that Apple spent a billion dollars a year, a billion dollars a year. And over the years, Apple talked with Mercedes-Benz, Ford, BMW, Volkswagen, Hyundai, and Tesla about potential partnerships. Apple have discussed those partnerships, even with Ford. Um, I mean, Canoe, McLaren, McLaren, seriously? I mean, they all discussed, why would you, McLaren doesn't even make an EV. They, they sure they have a hybrid now, but anyway. Co-founder Steve Jobs proposed buying General Motors in the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis, said Bloomberg. Project Titan as Apple called it, cost the technology company a billion dollars every single year. <laughs> but it never reached a point where any full-scale prototypes were even tested on public roads. The company began hiring hundreds and hundreds of automotive engineers nearly 10 years ago and originally aimed to start selling its first EVs in 2020. The report says that by early 2020, the team's creation a rounded four-seat microbus dubbed the bread loaf was still five years from being ready for production. Among other revelations was that um, Apple considered trying to buy Tesla when it was still worth less than $30, $30 billion, but CEO Tim Cook killed the idea. What an absolute moron. That might have been the worst decision in the history of mankind. I mean, holy smokes, 30... Less than 30, anyway, I'm gonna stop. He later met with Tesla CEO Elon Musk to discuss a collaboration, but the discussions didn't progress. However, other experts say, actually, Tesla was gonna supply the battery packs and the electronics and software. Volkswagen were gonna build the actual shell part. Apple talked with Mercedes-Benz for a few months about an idea to have Mercedes build the car and to put Apple's self-driving platform into Mercedes vehicles, but it ultimately decided it wanted to build the car on its own. Apparently, Apple also talked to BYD about getting them to maybe manufacture it. It also talked with BMW, Volkswagen, and Canoe, but that didn't work out. Apple came close to reaching a deal with McLaren. I mean, McLaren, they boutique luxury supercar manufacturer, so bizarre. Anyway, Ford, which hired Project Titan chief Doug Field away from Apple in 2021, proposed selling Apple cars through its Lincoln brand, but the discussions ended after a preliminary meeting. Why on earth would Ford have hired the Muppet in charge of this project, of this disaster? Ford was like, hey, you've done a great job, Project Titan. Let's get the guy, let's get the chief of Project Titan in. I mean, it was a total basket case mess here. And they, Apple, and Ford went, oh, great, let's hire that guy. Uh, okay, great decision. Anyway, Apple had wanted to charge $85,000 US dollars for the car, but internal estimates put the cost of production at over 120000 
for every vehicle. Apple bought the former Chrysler Proving Ground in Arizona in 2021, but it's now put the property up for sale. Thanks for watching.